welcome to another week, another day, another car trip. We are headed up to New York this week for a family camp. It's just me and my mom this time, but this is a camp that I have been coming to since I was a kid. So it's really one of my happy places. I'm so excited. Are you excited, Mom? Oh gosh, my favorite vacation <laughs> of the year. This is, yeah. we look forward to it all year. I can't remember the last time we had an actual vacation that didn't involve any kind of medical appointments. I think probably last year when we went to this camp. It's this really beautiful Christian family camp and it's set up in the Adirondack Mountains in New York. Can't wait to show you guys. I am prepared to have a bit of a pressure headache. I haven't been in the mountains since I had my stent placed. So I'm not really sure how my brain is going to react to the changes in air pressure. We will see. We made it! I have made myself at home, as you can see, set up my IV pole, got my bed set up, and now it is time to take a little walk around, see the lake. <sighs> Guys, but just look at how gorgeous it is here. Ta da! <sighs> There's nothing like that fresh mountain air, except I definitely, definitely do feel that stent pain. So I am going to go and lie down for a little bit to see if I can maybe just get used to the pressure change up here. Oh my goodness. Well, I am proud to report that I was able to get up and out of the cabin for a little while tonight. We went and walked around the lake and we met up with a bunch of friends and really had a nice night. I'm definitely still feeling the pressure pain, but I'm trying to push through it as much as I can and hoping that my body will adjust the longer we are here. Good news everybody, we were able to get in contact with my home health company and they are going to be sending us some bags of saline through UPS. So hopefully those are gonna arrive tomorrow. Uh, and that's when they're expecting them, but we're kind of in the middle of nowhere, so I wouldn't be too surprised if it takes a couple days to get here. They were just really, really great about it. And I think it's really gonna help me make it through this week. So now everyone has gone to lunch and I think I'm just going to curl up and rest a little bit. Hold on, I gotta get my key out. It's kind of nice this year. I actually got to pay a little bit less because I won't be, I'm terrible with keys. The last couple years I still had to pay as if I were eating. It's kind of annoying because we were trying to explain to them that like I physically can't eat and I can't even be in the dining hall like around all the food. So it's kind of ridiculous for me to be paying for meals. So this year they finally said okay. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna take this opportunity to take a little bit of a rest. Especially because it's warm out today and I haven't had saline. I have to be really careful. You know, because I'm not great at regulating my body temperature once I get warm and that sets off my heart rate and then we have a lot of issues. <laughs> I think it's something that really helps with that, but not having it, I have to be very, very cautious. And chapel was pretty darn early this morning, so I had to wake up at 6.30 to get ready, and I'm pretty tired. I think that I mentioned that this was a Christian camp, so we just have um, chapel every morning, and sometimes they have like worship concerts at night and stuff like that. My faith is something that I haven't really talked about in my videos, and that's mostly just because I feel like faith is a very personal thing. And I don't really believe in being like super in people's face about it. I try to just um, live my life the way I choose to live it and hope that my actions speak louder than my words. 
but I do want to say that my faith is a big part of how I deal with living with a chronic illness and I truly do believe that there is a greater plan for me and a greater plan for everybody so I just really trust that everything that has happened has happened for a reason and so that's something that really does help me cope with my conditions I know that everybody has their things their coping strategies and for me my faith has been very very important in this process hi guys long time no see except for you guys it's only been a second I think the last time I checked in I was settling in for maybe a little bit of a rest which <laughs> turned into me sleeping for the last 18 hours which is really crazy my mom said she just couldn't wake me up I think that I've just been hit really really hard by the pressure changes up here my body is not happy <laughs> kind of stinks to be sick in bed on such a beautiful day at such a beautiful place but honestly this is all I can manage and so that's going to have to be enough I'm just desperately holding out hope that my body is going to adjust and also that the IV saline will arrive today and hopefully be my saving grace because right now I honestly feel like I've been hit by a bus and my head is killing me and my ears are ringing and my vision is kind of waxing and waning in one eye and I'm super super dizzy when I get up just to even walk to the bathroom I get up very very out of breath and my heart rate goes really high and I still seem to have something going on with my wisdom tooth but I don't want to have my doctor call in antibiotics or anything like that I don't really want to risk any mast cell issues or GI issues and I really, really, really do not like to take antibiotics unless I have been seen by a doctor and know I absolutely have to and have an infection. So I've just been switching with hydrogen peroxide and using Oragel for the pain. And obviously if it starts to get worse, then I will rethink my options. <laughs> All right guys, I was able to salvage the day. I got out of bed. I think it's around seven o'clock now. Seven, wait, nope, eight. nope, it's eight o'clock. So, I'm really getting the most out of camp. It's 7.57. <laughs> uh, here's my friend Elizabeth. Hi. She has been helping me getting my, and my mom. She's been helping me getting <laughs> last bomb. week's vlog edited for you guys. Uh, sorry, that's going up late. I've been busy and then the Wi-Fi here is really, really terrible. So this vlog might go up before that one does. Now we are headed to Campo, which is very exciting. It is the camp's version of bingo. And you get prizes. And yeah, if you win, you get some really awesome prizes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just one of those things Earth, that Earth. You just gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness the saline made it to us. So hopefully tomorrow I'll be feeling a whole lot better. Oh, Grandpa Bob, you wanna be in the vlog? Say hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, Grandpa Bob actually watches all of my vlogs, so you guys can see yourself in next week's vlog. Hi, right, I'm gonna say goodbye. We're going into Campo. a fidget spinner over the fudge. Lauren, you've heard it here first. Mom loves you more than she loves fudge. Perks of having a mass cell best friend. <laughs> <laughs> we just walked all the way back here from the campfire to come get my laptop so we can try to get the vlog to upload because we think that that campfire is closer to the Wi-Fi. I'm telling you guys, I am trying my hardest. <laughs> but the, uh, yeah, the Wi-Fi is not working in our favor. All right, guys, the vlog is finally uploading. We've gotten it close enough to the Wi-Fi, <laughs> hopefully. I mean, it's still at 0%. 
but at least it's uploading. It's doing mad science experiments so over here. She separated all of the liquid from the glow sticks. It took all morning. She's putting it into these adorable little jars. The Mixed. thought is that she can mix it whenever she wants and it'll be a little glowing jar. Wow! <laughs> it worked! Yes! Oh, that's beautiful! Good morning guys! It is Wednesday. It's like 2 o'clock, but we'll pretend <laughs> that I got up earlier. Seriously, seriously, trying my hardest to get the vlog up, but the Wi-Fi is not cooperating. We have been, what is that now? 20, Uploading like 26%. Like 18 hours. Yeah, the last two days we've been trying to upload it and it's still at 26%. So we, say hi. Hi. We are going to go try to find some better Wi-Fi. Okay, so we just spent like three hours in the lodge. It looks like the video, it says it's uploaded, but now it says it's processing, and it said processing for like the last hour, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I think it's kind of out of my hands. Hopefully it gets uploaded today. We'll just have to see. I do not know what my body has against having a nice relaxing vacation. It seems like every time I get a handle on something, something else pops up. So I'm definitely feeling more human now that I had the saline last night. I've been swishing my teeth with hydrogen peroxide and I'm using Origel so that feels a whole lot better. But now my scar has opened up. I think it's because I've been walking around more and carrying my backpack with me more it is just the final straw and the scar on my neck from my last surgery in april just kind of ripped open in one spot and started bleeding as some of you may know those of us with eds have really really fragile skin and we tend to have poor wound healing. Our scars tend to widen and they can sometimes open up. And because I've had surgery over and over in that same spot, and he's had to take out a lot of scar tissue, it was already very tight. But it just seems like everything seems to want to go wrong with my body when I'm like two hours away from the nearest hospital. I just alcohol swapped it as well as I could, put some sterile gauze over it, taped it all up, and I texted Trish to let her know what was going on. I'm just gonna keep it clean and dry for now and hopefully it doesn't get infected and it can heal up on its own and I don't need any kind of stitches or anything. I'll deal with it when I get home, just like everything else. <laughs> what a relaxing vacation this has been so far. Okay, so since I kind of tore open my scar a little bit, I can't carry my backpack because I think it was carrying around my backpack and walking around a lot. That kind of put too much strain on it and caused it to open up. So look what we came up with. I was texting my physical therapist Trish and we came up with this. She's so smart. So she remembered that I had this thigh holster bag and she was like, oh, I wonder if the pump fits in it. It does. It fits perfectly. Okay, so there's like two main pockets in this pocket. I have the pump itself. It fits like perfectly. And then in the pocket behind it, I have like the bag. I honestly cannot believe it that this is working. And then I had like the extra tubing just like coiled up and it was perfect. I mean, this is so cool. Now I never have to carry a bag again and my shoulders feel amazing. <laughs> Trish is a genius. She is still helping me even from like five states away. I look like such a nerd. I even put like my camera case on here. I look like an actual like carpenter, but it's working. I think I talked about this bag in a couple of vlogs ago, but I will link it down below if anyone wants to try this out. Update on the video uploading process. 
it's still not uploaded. I don't really know what's going on with it. It still says processing. I'm probably gonna have to re-upload the entire thing. Sorry that it's late. You've probably already watched it if you're watching this. So, sorry about that. I'm fine. It's just, I couldn't get the Wi-Fi to work. Morning guys, it is Thursday and it is now day five of me trying to get my video uploaded. So I woke up extra early this morning and I walked my laptop down to the lodge where they have Wi-Fi and I left it there for like the last few hours. I really hope I can trust everybody here. It's supposed to be a Christian camp. I had to start re-uploading it because it said it was processing but it said that for like two days. So I figured something went wrong in that process and now it's re-uploading. Last time I saw it, it was like 40%. <sighs> we'll see what happens. Okay, it seems to be uploading. It's still saying two hours remaining. We'll see about that because it's kind of been saying that for four days now. Or is it now Thursday morning? Yeah, I've been trying since Sunday. So I thought I'd take you guys on a little bit of a tour of camp. This is the brand new lodge that they put up this past year. Really nice quiet space to read. They have some books and a lot of people are working. It's where the best Wi-Fi is. And here we have what is called the teepee, which is where you can find a whole bunch of goodies ranging from ice cream to penny candy to fresh cinnamon buns in the morning. And behind me here, there's this lovely little garden with a pond. I'll take you over here. This is probably one of my favorite little spots of camp. There's a little pond and it's just super relaxing. And then here we have the big auditorium. This is the chapel. This is where we have all of our morning services and where they put on all the night concerts. And then there's lots of cabins. And down there is the point where you can rent a sunfish boat or a kayak or a canoe. And this is the trading post. This is their kind of little gift shop. They have lots of things in here. A lot of fun little knickknacks. Then over here we have the child care area. This is where all of the kids come during the service. And then over here is our cabin which you guys have already seen. And there are a bunch more cabins down this way. It goes all the way down the beach front. We're headed out into town now because my mom wants some nuts to snack on. <laughs> but here is the mini golf course. Oh, nuts here too, of course. More cabins down this way. I think that there is a soccer field at the yeah. end of the road here. Yeah. And then over here we have a volleyball and the gigantic sports center, which I haven't gotten a whole lot of use out of. <laughs> <laughs> they have a lot more volleyball courts inside as well as some basketball courts. And upstairs there's a really cool arcade game room. And there's also a really cool rock wall. We used to be in there a lot more. <laughs> and there's some tennis courts, some outdoor games, a shuffleboard. And then straight ahead, up that hill up there, is where the dining hall is. Yay, I, I haven't gotten a whole lot of use out of that one either. Alright, she found the nuts. She also found some covered in chocolate. And I found... Oh, possibly the greatest hat in the whole entire world. How did I get it? <laughs> oh, this feels disturbingly real. I don't even like having it on my head. And I, I just addressed a ton of envelopes for your Etsy orders. I'm kind of terrible at relaxing, I guess, on vacation. <laughs> I think I have like two or three more to go. But thank you guys so much for being so supportive of my hobbies. And I'm so glad that you guys are just as excited about these little lockets as I am. Now I'm going to go ahead and check on my laptop, see if the video uploaded, and then I'm going to head to crafts. I'll probably just bring along some of my beading and do it there. It finally uploaded! I'm so excited. All right, now I just have to like set all of the end screen annotations and the thumbnail and oh, then it's done. You, some of you guys have already seen it. <sighs> I'm so glad to finally have that done.
us what these things are. What are these? I think they're called poi. They're these like really sure. cool like glowing little orbs on a string. And you can swing them around so Karen's gonna show us. This is so cool. Woo! Yeah, it's actually the same program that Karen. She's the color guard queen. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. It's fun. It really is super fun. I was just doing it. But not with both. <laughs> I don't think I could do it with both. Alright, these are they're his. He's gonna show us how it's done. I do the one where it's like close to your chest. Oh my. Whoa! Oh my. It's so weird. It's like a that with fire though. Like that's the thing. Yeah, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful last day it is here. It was supposed to rain all day. We had a little bit of a storm this morning, but then the sun came out and it is gorgeous out. Just look at this view. I mean, honestly, the camera doesn't do it justice. I don't want to leave. I feel like I'm finally settling in and now it's time to pack up and leave again. Perks of having a friend with a chronic illness. <laughs> if you fall and hurt your knee, they will have everything that you need. We're just dressing her up. She felt like totally foul and just like... Because her flip flop broke. Yeah. Yeah. The other night her flip flop broke coming down the hill and she fell so hard on her knee that she had like so much gravel from the road like in her knee. We were in the nurse's office for an hour picking gravel out of my knee. Yeah, it was bad. It was probably the worst scrape I've ever seen in my whole life, but we're fixing our up. Okay, well now everyone is off to dinner and I am going to have to go lay down in the cabin because Unfortunately, I got a little bit too hot and I'm running a low-grade fever. That's kind of typical of me when I get a little bit too warm. My body just can't really regulate my temperature very well, so I end up with a fever. But honestly, I should be like fine in maybe 20 minutes if I just lay down with all of these fans. <laughs> it's a little bit hard when all you want to do is just have fun and have a nice vacation but your body won't cooperate. But I do what I can, and then I rest when I can. All right guys, my temperature is back in normal ranges. That means that I get to go to the concert tonight, and I'm very excited about that. I'm here with Grandpa Bob. <laughs> <laughs> the Friday night concerts are so fun. They always pick a Broadway musical yeah, to do, and someone spilled the beans that this year's gonna be Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> so we're pretty excited. say goodbye to this place. I just wish I could stay forever and ever, but at least I know it's always here. Goodbye camp. I'm going to miss you. See you next year. Okay guys, we are home. I am happy and I have had it. I am going to sleep. Thank you guys so much for coming along on this awesome week of camp with me. I know we had a few bumps on the road, but we made it home safely with no ER trips. Okay, you know what I'm about to say. If you liked this video, it would be awesome if you would give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe, and I will see you guys in next week's vlog. Bye!